Geothermal Prod. Hello to you on Periscope. Thank you for joining in with the Periscope stream today. David's in. David from Australia. In on the YouTube stream already. Nice to have you there. Nice and early. And we're getting warmed up to create DJ name drops. Announce yourself in the chat. Martina's back. Hey, Martina. Good to see you back. Let me know where you are in the world today. And what are you working on? What are you doing this afternoon? Hi to Peter from Truro in the UK. Must be nice there in Truro today. It's nice here on the Isle of Wight. Nice and sunny, which is a change from yesterday and from tomorrow from what it seems. Tiggy the Tiger's in. Mats van Engel Engelenburg. Nella's in. Hello to you. Hey. So just uh, announce yourself in the chat if you're on the live stream now. This is the, the pre-show, the pre-roll. Multimedski Center. Bezigrad. Where is that located? It's nice to see you in the chat. Tiggy the Tiger's in from North Carolina, USA. Great to have you there. Gearing up for the show in about four and a half minutes. Covering DJ name drop production and more. Warm but overcast. Oh no. Down in Cornwall in the UK. It's been blazingly hot sunshine here on the Isle of Wight. Temperature is just tipping 22 degrees Celsius. Which is warm for the UK. <laughs> in Fahrenheit... It's well, about 71, 72 Fahrenheit. So, yeah, not that warm compared to some parts of the States, I guess. Slovenia, awesome. Love Slovenia. I've been to Ljubljana before, and my favorite spot is Lake Bled. I love, love, love Lake Bled, especially at the wintertime when it's snow covered. David Lewis is in. Afternoon to you from cloudy Sunningdale, so we must be in a bit of a microclimate on the island. Although saying that, looking outside now, it is a little bit, it's a touch cloudy here on the island now, but this morning was fantastic. Went out for a walk. Edgar Zim from Hamburg, guten tag. Good to have you in the chat. Love from India, that's Aditya. Jonathan's in. Good morning from Long Beach, California. Ooh, that sounds nice. Renato, back from Italy. Good to have you in. Ross from Wisconsin. Excellent. Good to see you, Ross. Haven't seen you before. Are you new here? If you're, Especially if you're new to the stream, announce yourself. We're getting going in just under three minutes, by the way, as you can probably see if you're watching the screen. This is the pre-show bit where I get to talk to you for a bit before we get going. DJ name drops, all kinds of free goodies. Uh, the Isotope, great plugin developer, have dropped. Mentioning that coming up. Have you got a radio station in Slovenia? Awesome. How can I tune in? Is it online? Let me know the name and I will look it up after the show. Hey, Isabella's here. Isabella is in the house with her spanner. <laughs> DJ Name Drops got plenty of uh, voice voiceovers to work with on this one. Some tips and tricks, stuff going on in our community as well. Actually, I may as well post it here pre-show while you're kind of getting ready for the show to go live. If you haven't already joined, do go to the link I'm posting now and check out the community. Loads going on in there, loads of new posts coming in all the time at the moment. So it's a great little community of uh, audio producers and audio files developing there. Marcus is in from Mississippi, USA. Hi to DJ Infinity in Germany as well. Ah, Kamarp saying hi. Nice to see you there. It's nice to have this little pre-show bit with you on YouTube. I like this. Radio MCB. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Slovenia and Slovenian wine as well. Uh, we've got um, some of the best wine I've had has been in Slovenia. Uh, Mike, do you work from home or do you have an office on the Isle of Wight? Oh, we have both. We have a home that we work from and we also have an office in the centre of the island, in, in Newport. David, stupid me, <laughs> might be good idea to unmute the thing. Ah, good job. Get ready, here we go.
And we are live. Hello and welcome along to the show. I am Mike Russell here on Music Radio Creative Live. And it is really, really wonderful to have your company today. Focusing on the idea of creating DJ name drops today. So lots of uh, uh, stutters and pitch shifts and bits like that. And just generally working with tight sound effects to make some really cool DJ name drops. Uh, taking your advice as well. So if you want to get interactive in the chat, I always mention the chat every 15 minutes minutes during the show. So uh, 15 minutes in, 30 minutes in and 45 minutes in. This is a one hour live stream and we do it every weekday, Monday to Friday from 2pm to 3pm UK time. So figure out what that is in your local time zone and stick it in your calendar. I think it's uh, nine in the morning till 10 uh, on the east coast of America. Uh, it must be even earlier if you're over on the west coast of America uh, and in Australia and New Zealand where we also have a, a, a good following uh, as well it's uh, it's around midnight or one in the morning so burning the midnight oil there uh, learning some audio production interacting with the show love you guys thank you so much for being there and can I ask you a big favour uh, if you are brand new here definitely announce yourself in the chat and if you could put maybe uh, like uh, some stars before your comment so star 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 I'm new here and just let me know Know who you are so I can give you a special shout out in around uh, 14 minutes from now. Um, also, uh, I would like to tell you if you don't already know about it, about the Music Radio Creative community, which is, yeah, over, over there, you can see the board uh, filling up uh, nicely. I mean, all the time there are new topics to look at here. Uh, can I add a track to multiple buses in audition? Uh, a great question. Actually, that's an ongoing question, I know. So a lot of people are hopping into the community to ask uh, questions about Adobe Audition, which is quite fine. Um, but we do have a lovely poll in here. Let's see if I can find it now. Uh, there's a poll. Yeah, which door is your main audio editing software? Uh, and this is a fantastic question. We've had some votes on already and if we look here obviously majority of our community are using Adobe Audition CC uh, some of them using earlier releases of Audition uh, we've also got Studio One users Audacity users, Pro Tool user as well in there, uh, so yeah go ahead and uh, and join up to the community uh, the web address to access it by the way is mrc.fm slash community mrc.fm slash community that's the uh, the short link to get in there and uh, would love to see you in there interacting and by the way when you join up you get access to secret categories that are not publicly available including the free stuff category which I'm pointing out now and there's been some really nice posts in the free stuff category uh, including this one from Ben uh, and he has shared a link to Isotope. Uh, and Isotope, uh, well, they are makers of fantastic audio plugins, as I'm sure you're aware. And I'm going to be using one or two of their plugins. Um, actually, I don't currently have Ozone 7, but I do have Vocal Synth and Neutron. Now, Vocal Synth is, um, if you haven't heard of it, I rave about it a lot on this show um, because it's great for voice imaging and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can change the voice, demo it to you in a minute. And Neutron is kind of a mixing and mastering plugin. And uh, what they've done is they've uh, released some larger than life preset packs for their existing customer base. Now, these three plugins are paid in plugins, but I highly recommend them, all of them, apart from Ozone 7, which I haven't tried, but Again, I think it's probably pretty good because I just don't make quality stuff. Um, so I'm going to be trying out their preset packs with the DJ name drops in this up and coming show. Also, I'm going to answer a question from the community. And I like to do this in the live stream as much as I possibly can. Uh, there's been a great question here. I'm looking to drop in a variable auto pan on top of a mono track increasing in speed towards the end. Any ideas? And I did actually post back with my thoughts on how you might do it. But let's hop into audition now. And before we even get going with the uh, the plugin presets, uh, let's just drag in uh, some audio for DJ name drops. So I've got a load of uh, dry session files. They're all here in my downloads folder. And we'll see what we can work with. And we'll try and work on the answer to that question in the community right now and tie it into the DJ name drop uh, production session. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. You're in the mix with your boy. That Nolan's boy. DJ 504. Okay, cool. I think I can work with that. Now, that is Music Radio Creative Voice Al. Uh, he's Al. He's our American uh, voiceover. Uh, he's been with us, actually, uh, for a very long time. One of the, the longest standing MRC voiceovers. And, uh, yeah, just a, a quality production. You can always be guaranteed of uh, working with Al. So let's go into the multi-track now. And... Uh, 
actually, let me just make sure I'm saving these session files in the right place. I think I am. So let's drag this in here. Now, I'll show you two ways that you can do this. Let me make sure I've got the question correct. So looking to drop in a variable auto pan on top of a mono track, increasing in speed towards the end. Right. OK, I'm just going to start actually a new file here and use my presets. So let's do new here, drop it into um, or drop it into downloads the downloads folder so I can keep it in one place. Switch on the MRC template, uh, which are my Adobe Audition presets that I use to produce audio every single day. If you're interested in purchasing them for yourself to use, uh, head to mrc.fm slash presets. That's mrc.fm slash presets. And you'll get popping voices like this. DJ 504. Or EQ. DJ 504. Or Chorus. DJ 504. Or Echo. DJ 504. Oh. DJ 504. That's it. We had a little drop out there from Adobe Audition. Flanger. It's uh, oh, it's struggling, struggling to keep up today. <laughs> let's, let's go back out and back into the multi-track. DJ 504. Okay, that seems to have fixed it. So, uh, right, let's try and do this right now. So, I'm going to bring this in like this, mix this all together, and take the very start, first of all, and I'm going to do pitching and panning on it. So, let's just find the start. You're maybe a little less, maybe this You're one. Yeah, that's enough. So let's grab that start bit there of the DJ name drop, drag it in. So as you can see, this is currently on a stereo track, um, but it doesn't matter because the voice is in mono. <laughs> okay, so we've got like a, a, a typical stutter there. Um, I could probably afford to shorten that stutter a little bit more to achieve the effect that I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate here. So let's do that. Copy, 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 and... Uh, I remember David actually is going to tell me this. You can actually hold down Alt on your keyboard. Oh, I've never done that before, and, and scroll through. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Alt and drag. Alt, drag. Hang on. You see, this is something I need to do. Ah, the top bit there. Alt, drag, and then you can copy. Yeah. Alt, drag, and then you can copy. Perfect. Now I've got lots of copies. You're in the mix with... Okay, now I'm going to go into my effects rack over here and pitch shift and pan as well. So switching on the pitch shifter effect, which can be accessed by going into the time and pitch menu here, pitch shifter, just pop it in on uh, wherever you like. And then when you hop into this bit here, and switch it to read, you'll be able to access all the automations that you want. At the moment, you have a basic uh, volume automation, uh, but you can add in stuff here, show envelopes for the pitch shifter, transposing ratio, and you can also go in and choose something like the pan, uh, because I remember Ben said in the community he would like to be able to, to pan. So let's have a go at playing with this now. So say if we wanted to pitch in this stutter like this, we'll just put some edit points in here. You're so we've got that. Uh, we've drawn in a basic pitch from high to, to regular. You're and then we want to pan it. So we're using the blue line now here. Here's the pan line. And um, we'll do a spiky kind of zigzag, left, right, left, right. This will create a nice left, right, left, right. I do always advise listening to the on-demand podcast or the live stream in stereo. So if you've got stereo speakers or if you're listening in headphones, even better, you'll get the full effect of these production sessions. Um, yeah, and youtube.com slash music radio creative is the place to subscribe and get, in my opinion, the best streaming audio at the moment. Hmm. But I think Facebook Live is also catching up. So hello to you on Facebook Live. And make sure to uh, leave a comment with uh, where you're watching from today if you're on Facebook. You're in the mix. Now, uh, I just wasn't happy with a slight edit here. Something funky is going on here. Um, let me try and make that match as best I can. I think we might be better now. So as you can hear, it's, uh, it's pitching down from top to bottom. And it's going left, right, left, right, left, right here. You're in the... So now we've got something like that. Now, if I wanted to, I'm just zooming this in a bit so you can see exactly what I've done on the automations here. You're in the mix. With okay, you're in the mix. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the volume automation here. And I'm probably just going to use it so it just pan it sort of fades in this. You're so it makes it louder gradually. 
you're in the mix. So you get that gradual kind of, you know, falling in kind of effect. Um, and then I'm going to drag this over to another track here. You're in the mix. Maybe not that one, maybe my chorus. You're in the mix with your boy. You're in the mix with your boy. And because uh, I love pitching. Your boy. I like that, your boy. And then I'm going to just pop that in there. Whoop. Uh, We've got some other audio bits here. Your boy. Okay, so now with your boy. Now we've got that. Now we could do uh, all kinds of automations on this. Again, I can pan this hard left to right. So let's do that. Left to right, like so. With your boy. Okay, and you can probably hear that. Probably need to make that a bit tighter. With your boy. With your boy. So you can probably hear it going left, right. Like boy. So now I want to do another effect, and I just want to pitch this bit down like that. Let's see how far we can get away with. The mix with your boy. Oh, nice. The mix with your boy. The mix with your boy. So there we go. That's that's looking pretty good to me so far. So and you've got other options here, like clear clear all keyframes or go to the previous keyframe so you can jump around to all the keyframes that you've put in on your automations here place in a keyframe if you like there I like to just place keyframes in uh, just by clicking uh, here let me actually zoom right in so you can get a good look at exactly what is going on here and I might need to just uh, drag Adobe Audition down a little bit just so you can see exactly what I have got in that session there so you can now see exactly how all of those automations look uh, and uh, and if you go over to the uh, the left hand side which you just can't quite see uh, because it's off on the other side uh, you can access all the different uh, automations so there you go just a little look uh, up close and personal at, at what I was doing there uh, with the automations so we got you're in the mix with your boy so you've got like a little uh, pitch shift down there and then we're going to move this one down and here Actually, I'm going to start a new track. By the way, uh, hopping into your comments in three minutes, so do keep them coming in. If you've got anything uh, you want to say or add or ask, always happy to, uh, to help with this. So I've got a new track here. Let's zoom out and move this down here. Now on this track, as I've just created it, I need to send it out to the voice effects bus and I need to add my MRC presets right there, like that. Let's have a listen. With your boy, that Nolan's boy. And at this point, I did want to get into uh, using uh, a funky voice effect. Now, this is where I will probably go ahead and use some of those freebies that uh, Isotope have provided me. So if you happen to own one of these plugins here, and I love vocal synth. Uh, they have just provided only recently on the 21st of July a free download of presets for their plugins. So vocal synth being one of them. Now, uh, fortunately, they also offer a, a lovely way to uh, install these presets. So over here, I have downloaded uh, Neutron and vocal synth presets. And they say you need to on your Mac, you need to go to this directory and drop them into the global presets directory. So I'm going to try that. Uh, already got global presets open here for vocal synth and if I unzip these presets that I got from the isotope blog and then drag all of those in over here hopefully now when I hop over to my vocal synth I should have some sparkly new plugins to play with and it will be the first time for me as it probably is for you hearing how these plugins work so into my audio units isotope and there it is vocal synth and then here we've got presets and look yes they've all appeared so these are brand new presets that isotope uh, provided just four days ago on their blog i'm just gonna have a mess about and see what they do so first of all let's go for angular and see what exactly this sounds like on the voice here boy. wow that's uh, that's quite dramatic isn't it uh, dark swells let's try this one boy. oh wow that's deep dragon alley let's try this one Boy. Wow, these ones are <laughs> these presets are very dark. Boy. Interesting. We might need to bring the original dry voice in, I think. Oh, very cool. DJ. And you've even got echo on that one, so I might go back to Pitter Patter. Praying for vowels. Very bizarre. Stoplight. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. Sweet gibberish. Let's try that. Oh, I quite like that one. 
And you got like a little uh, kickback on that and take three as well. <coughs> wow, that's cool. <coughs> Well, now you can't make out what is being said, but it's generating some pretty cool tones there and unison layers as well. <laughs> Let's go back to Pitter Patter. <laughs> Maybe I've gone off that one. Sweet gibberish. <laughs> yeah, I quite like that. That's fat. Uh, let's see what each element is doing here. So again, I'm going to zoom in on this. Hang on, let me get this into position so you can you can view it in the zoom screen share. And I'm just going to have a play now with uh, each different part of the preset and see what it is doing. So have a listen to, to this as I play it. Okay, I quite like that. So uh, we'll bring in a tiny bit of dry with this as well, so we can hear the original voice from Al. Let's bring the dry right up as far as we can. Maybe not too high. And let's just hear what happens if we just tweak this a little bit. Too high in the mix, bring it down. Okay, I'm quite happy with that, so that is sounding good to me. And then finally this bit that we can place on our echo track here. DJ 504. Awesome. And uh, I might actually do some panning on this as well. Copy that over here to the voice EQ and bring that over to one side. Let's try that. DJ 504. So you get that kind of echo EQ in one side of your headphones or your speakers, as it may be, if you're a DJ. Okay, so now we've got that all together. Uh, we're going to add sound effects to it next and then move on to another DJ name drop. But right now, let's head over to the chat. Uh, wherever you're watching right now, do let me know where you are watching from, uh, particularly over on Facebook Live. We've got Mwaka there from Mombasa in Kenya. Uh, it's lovely to see you there. Let's go back into the chat and see what we've had since we started the show. Uh, so, hey to Manix back in. Good to see you again. Bojan, great to see you on vacation, so can't stay too long. <laughs> Kids and the beach, yeah, I know. It's that summertime feeling, isn't it? Well, enjoy your vacation and, and get out there and enjoy the sunshine. Uh, there's plenty plenty of time to be inside a studio for certain. Uh, Divakish is, uh, is blowing kisses in the chat. That's very nice. Uh, Hidsley is in there as well. Julio is in. Uh, Marcus, I really need this information. Well, great, Marcus, you're in the right place. Thanks for choosing uh, MRC Live today. Uh, Bruce is in. It's 11 till midnight Australia time. Uh, depends, I guess, what part of Australia you're watching from, right? Because um, if you're in some parts of Australia, like I believe it's South Australia, uh, it's kind of like half past, isn't it? When it's, when it's on the hour, most places in the world, it's half past somewhere. I do remember driving across the uh, the Nullarbor Plain uh, when I was out in Australia last uh, on my honeymoon with Isabella. So Isabella will remember, and uh, I remember well, I remember a couple of things about the Nullarbor Plain. Time didn't really matter. First and foremost, uh, secondly, you you can't get an internet connection in most places. So um, hi to you if you're watching on the Nullarbor Plain, and uh, and and thirdly, I remember the clocks were were, were sometimes backwards in in places we stayed, and I remember one place we we stayed at uh, where the they had two toilets, and, and they were both male and male. <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful part of the planet. I, I, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to going back to Australia, hopefully not too far away as well. Uh, Thornsk is saying hi. DJ Transit is in from uh, South Africa. Great to see you there. Uh, DJ Infinity is asking, Mike, little question. Which program do you use to stream on YouTube? Hmm. That's uh, an excellent question. And the answer is... OBS Broadcaster. Uh, OBS, well, no, actually it's called OBS Studio, to be exact. OBS Studio. They used to have a classic version, uh, but the studio version can do funky stuff like transitions. You just saw a transition where I went from the screen share to this uh, lovely background and your, your comments here. 
You can do everything in it. Uh, I mean, I'm really satisfied with it. Uh, all of this chat here appearing, this is done inside OBS. Um, pretty much all of the visual production you see in this show goes through OBS. Um, but I do have a, a little bit of a, a double setup because I stream from my iMac, which is pretty powerful iMac. I stream out to an RTMP, which is a real-time messaging protocol server, which I have set up on another computer server here in our studios. So I I have that set up, so I stream just one RTMP stream from OBS to the server, and then the server goes and sends out, I think it's four, four different uh, streams across uh, Periscope, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. And there are a couple of reasons for that. First, stability. I can sort of program it down to the to the kind of nanopixel to make sure everything is perfect. Uh, secondly, I don't want to go hard on my CPU here, so I use another computer to do the, the heavy lifting. I know you can also use Restreamio, Restreamio, but um, yeah, I looked into that option. I, I figured it'd be nice if I could set something up. So this is what we have going at the moment. Uh, what else have we got? Wasim's in. Uh, we've got, oh, Al Yibra. I'm new here. I'm very appreciative. That's great. Marcus, new from from the United States. Awesome. Thornsk is new too. Wonderful, wonderful. Welcome along. Uh, Christopher, I didn't see the downloads for the stems from Friday. Oh, I can show you where they are. Let me go to my, my screen share and I can show you. In the community, you won't see them unless you are signed in to the community. So you can join that by going to mrc.fm slash community. That's mrc.fm slash community. And there are there's just one secret category at the moment there, but there will be more as we develop this community out. And the category is called free stuff. And if you click into the free stuff category, uh, you'll see here audio stems from the live stream. And at the top, uh, I've got a download link to grab them all. And then uh, a couple of people, we've got, had Jenny there and Peter, who've had a great attempt at remixing the stems from Friday's live stream. So that's where you grab them, uh, Christopher. Really hope that helps. Uh, Joe's in. Hey, Joe, having trouble loading the video, but it's okay now. Good. Uh, Oni Woods, hey, nice to see you on Facebook Live. Uh, what else have we got in the chat? Sorry if I, I missed some of your comments. We've got Phil there from Darlington, Tri Comedy, Luis Riviera from Classic Rock 109, Cincinnati. Very cool indeed. Uh, what else have we got? Greg Smith, anyone using FL Studio? Not right now. To copy clips, you can also highlight, right-click, and drag. Yeah, that's what I used to do, Rich. I used to right-click and drag and then click the copy menu. Uh, but David definitely told me about the uh, the cool feature of um, being able to hold down Alt and then just drag the top of the clip to, uh, to copy. Very cool uh, ninja tip there from uh, David Silk in the chat. Uh, Junior, hey, how's everyone going? Ben's in. Have you got a reverb that sounds short when the voice is soft and long the louder the track gets? Well, Ben, I would say uh, for that, hmm, off the top of my head, I can't think of an easy way to do that. I would probably use um, volume automation and do it manually, unless there probably is a way you could do it with some side chaining. You could probably side chain based on volume, increase the uh, reverb intensity. But uh, I would just bring in reverb like this. And when I start speaking loud, I would turn the volume up. And then when I go really quiet, I turn the volume down. And then I get louder and it goes louder. And then I go quieter like that. So, And if you've got a control surface, that would be even easier to do because you could just fade the fader up and down uh, like I was doing there. Joe, I've no idea why, but when I open Adobe Audition on my laptop, it kills my Dolby Digital Surround Sound app, and I lose 50% of my sound until I turn it back on. Don't know why that is. I don't, I don't have that app, I'm afraid. Uh, what else have we got before we dash back into some more production? Uh, loads, of, loads of chat in there at the moment. Mike, any idea how to make a sound logo from a sample in a power intro? Oh, uh, that would be an intense answer. So uh, I'm going to save that one for another stream. I am covering uh, power intros or branding intros, as they're sometimes known uh, in a future stream. David, this jingle is going to be in my head all day. That's the idea. Andy Phillips? Love tutorials and live streams. Best on YouTube. Thanks, Andy. Uh, what else have we got? So much at the moment. Keep talking amongst yourselves, and I will try to get to more of those comments very shortly. But now let's get back into some audio production, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop over to my media browser. 
and drag in some of these hits. So let me bring this into the sound effects part of the chain here. And uh, this should actually work quite nicely with the, uh, the intro here. So let's just match this up like that. You're in the mix. Okay, way too loud. So I'm just going to take the amplitude down by minus 6 dB. You're in the mix with your boy. Okay, and uh, actually what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to put an overall voiceover effect on uh, called Analog Delay, and this should make it sound really good. Let's have a listen. You're in the mix with your boy. Okay, and we need a little more volume on the isotope vocal synth there, so let's turn that up. You're in the mix with your boy. DJ 504. And then we just need to grab uh, a few more effects to pop in. And then there's a final thing I'm going to do. Let's get some micro effects here. Okay, that might work. Let's see where's our next break point here. With your boys. Okay, that's just a little bit out of place there. I uh, just need to pop it here. With your boys. With your boys. With your boys. Knowledge boys. DJ. And then one more bit here. So we'll put that in just before the DJ name check. DJ 504. And... Move that out DJ 504. Not sure how clear that bit is, so I'm just going to bring this up to another track and mix that in. That knowledge boy. Let's just turn that down, though. That knowledge boy. That knowledge boy. DJ. And the reason it's so clear when I pull it to the voice EQ track is because I roll off a lot of the low end. I think below about 350 or 250 hertz. So you're getting a nice, clear, crisp sound there. That knowledge boy. DJ 504. And I thought we could probably go just a little bit further if I go into the library here music beds and we're going to go for some house techno something like that perfect that's all we need stop and we'll go back to uh, the imaging sound effects as well so I was just wondering if I could get four beats of this in and how cool it would sound so one two three actually let's listen to it and check so that's beat one. So we just want four beats there. I just wondered if I could use this somehow to beef up this jingle. With your boy, that Let's try here. With your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ. Okay, that's a little bit harsh there. So I'm just going to need to pad this out a bit. So let's take this bit, this bit, and this bit. Oh, but not that bit. Not that bit. Bring that out to the end. So if I just bring this to zoom out so you can see exactly what's happening here. Uh, we're just going to be moving that onto beat one. DJ 504. What we got? That knowledge boy. DJ 504. Maybe bring the music down a little bit so it's not so overpowering. With your boy. That knowledge boy. DJ 504. Um. Now let's just make sure we could probably do a better job of syncing that up with a beat. That knowledge. Yeah, it's not quite on the beat, is it? Let's try and make it better. That knowledge, boy. That. I think we're going to need to make some cuts here just to make it sync up nicely. So let's do that. Knowledge, boy. Now it's sounding better. That knowledge, boy. Bit more and we're going to be there. That knowledge, boy. Too awkward. Back in. That knowledge, boy. And maybe time stretch here a bit. That knowledge, boy. A bit more. That knowledge, boy. DJ Five. Um, and I wonder. Boy. Let's just grab that and pop that on the flanger track here. And we're going to repeat it there and there, but very quietly. Turn it down. Boy. Turn it up, can't hear it. Boy, Hang on, no, that's too loud now. Down, just a slight amount. Boy, DJ. Perfect. Okay, that's the charm, and we have a DJ name drop that sounds like this. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504.
Hope you enjoyed seeing how that one was created. Uh, we could go in and we could mix and master it with isotope neutron. And in fact, I might do that in the next section, seeing as uh, uh, we've got some nice presets to play with. So uh, let's save that. And I'm going to actually mix it down so I can bring it into a new, uh, or actually I could do this in the waveform view. Uh, but first of all, we're halfway through the show. It is currently 2.30 p.m. in the United Kingdom as we stream live across the internets. And uh, I think it's time to mention a few of your comments uh, because they're very important to me. Uh, oh, by the way, I did want to tell you about the community. Um, obviously, I know I bang on about this. And if you have already signed up, I really greatly appreciate it. But if not, I know there are new people dipping in and out of the stream all the time mrc.fm slash community is the place to go and uh, you can hop in there you can sign up you can get access to our locked uh, free stuff category if you look at all categories here uh, we've got a free stuff category there and that's a place to grab uh, free audio stems, sound effects, jingles, music beds, loops, audio plugins, presets, and more. That's where we're going to be sharing all those producer tools. Uh, so go and join up. It'd be lovely to see you in there. And if you do, uh, there is a thread. I'll try and stick here called Introduce Yourself. Uh, so you can get in there and, and let us know who you are. It'd be lovely to know uh, who exactly you are. So uh, over here in the comments, let's take a look at those. Uh, I'm male and have a female-like voice. How to edit it for voiceover? Um, <laughs> not quite sure what you mean by that. Um, what you mean, uh, well, uh, how to make it sound better. Uh, actually, you should tune in tomorrow because my live stream tomorrow is all about how to make your voice sound better. And by the way, if anyone wants to post a sample of their voice on the, uh, the community uh, between now and tomorrow, I might uh, grab some of your voices and use them as a demonstration of how to make your voice sound better. So maybe tune in for that one. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, <laughs> David saying the internet in Australia sucks. Sunil, uh, when are you giving us some tutorial in Logic Pro? Good answer, good question. Um, I do have a plan to do how to make radio sound effects on the stream on Friday. Let me show you on the screen here. If you're not on my YouTube channel, go to uh, youtube.com slash music radio creative uh, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll be using Logic a little bit this Friday. I'll probably be using it on Thursday stream, how to auto-tune your voice, because uh, I know Adobe Audition can do bits like that, but uh, Logic really lets you go to town. So just set reminder on both of those streams. Um, those will be some, some Logic streams for you. If you're craving some Logic, I do focus 95% in Adobe Audition, uh, but Logic is definitely my second door. Um, we've got uh, what else have we got here hello from Detroit, great instruction uh, just noticed 26 more followers and you'll hit 70,000, well hey from my calculation actually, I, just 25 now, 25 more subscribers, yes, and uh, we, hit the, we can celebrate the big 70k inside the music radio creative community on YouTube uh, news24live.in says hi, very nice sir uh, what else have we got here? Thinking of buying a new mixer. My old Yamaha MG124 needs replacing. Will a new USB mixer be seen as sound card? As a sound card? Well, it really depends. This is this is the big thing, and I could talk about this a lot, um, but I'll give you the brief answer, David, right now on the stream. Um, be very careful when you're buying a mixer with a USB connector. Do your research. I have posted a bit about this in the community. In fact, I think there is a thread in there if you search for mixers uh, on the community. There is a thread where I've given some of my thoughts. Uh, but the long and short of it is, if you go to like somewhere like Amazon, which is where I started my journey, and you search for USB mixer, you get a lot of mixers that turn up, um, but they only have like one input and one output. So that's not really very good. And also a lot of them will really get you because they're USB 1.1 connections. So we're talking high latency um, and just generally terrible to work with. Uh, so go for a USB 2.0 at the very minimum, uh, or a Thunderbolt if you can. Um, but for instance, now I'm super happy with my Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK mixer. Uh, and that has, uh, I think it has uh, 13, no, 14 outputs and no, 14 inputs and 12 outputs or the other way around. But that's a lot uh, for, for me in my live streaming studio. So that'd be my answer to you. Uh, Nears in as well. Uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, Thanks, Multimidski, there in Slovenia. Uh, what else? Anything else? Uh, Lubegim, thanks. It's a great job. Uh, from Watching from Uganda, awesome. 
Uh, my voice is horrible, so I'll do it. Okay, Christopher, post uh, a waveform of your voice inside the community, and I'll use it tomorrow. Uh, hi to Vamsi as well, KJD Train. Voice is perfect, so we can make it even perfecter. Absolutely, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, so thanks so much for posting in the community, and uh, and keep it up, keep posting. Uh, it's lovely to see you there. Right, okay, now we've got this DJ name drop that uh, has been created. Uh, let us hop into effects, audio units, isotope, uh, neutron. Now, neutron is just like, uh, it's like a, a laser for your audio mastering here. As you can see at the moment, I've got no presets in there. So what I'm going to do is do what isotope told me to do in their little blog post with their free presets, uh, which we've linked to from the community. And you just go into global presets, neutron, and then global presets, and then I downloaded a zip file from Isotope's website for Neutron here. If I open it up, now I've got all of this. So they've given us, um, these are basically XML files with, with text in uh, to set the presets up correctly. Hmm. Acoustic guitar clarity, aggressive parallel vox, uh, clear and present guitar solo, drum, bus, parallel. So a lot for music here. Fat electronic snare, larger than life kick, multiband bus control, round electronic sub, synth bus warmer, thick bass guitar. Okay, I'm not sure. The only one I might try is aggressive parallel vox. But let's at least install them and see what happens. So in you go. And let's head over to Neutron now uh, from Isotope and head into presets. No, I think I probably need to close and reopen the plugin. So let's do that. Effects and audio units, isotope, neutron. And yes, here they are. So, um, okay, without anything on at the moment, if I play this back, it should just sound like this. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504. Okay, so that is a basic DJ drop. And then let's add on aggressive parallel vox and see what it does. So add now go on go on is it working i think so maybe has it added something on the compressor i can't see that it's done anything doesn't seem to be adding set as default no hmm why is it not letting me actually add it as a preset or maybe it is it doesn't seem to be changing any settings though probably got to go into a little bit of a further investigation with this Let's expand all folders. No. Okay. So it seems to have applied, but I can't see anything that's happened there. Strange and a bit of a shame. Everything seems set at default. Anyway, let's have a mess about with Isotope Neutron. If you're serious about making your audio sound good, the mastering effects actually, when you go into effects, special mastering in Adobe Audition are super, super good. You see, this is the Adobe Audition uh, native mastering preset here, or effect. Um, but Isotope's Neutron is just like, it's the Swiss army knife of mastering your audio. And it gives you multiple chains inside this one effect. Let's take a good look at it, and uh, then I can show you what I'm doing. So it's I don't often use Neutron. Uh, generally, I stick with the, the, the stuff that comes with Adobe Audition. But occasionally, if I want to make something really pop out of my speakers, I will hop into something like this. And it really gives me uh, some opportunity to do stuff like, well, firstly, we've got EQ. So let's have a mess with the EQ and play back and see what we get here. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy. DJ 504. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy. DJ 504. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy. DJ 504. 
So as you can probably see there, I was just setting up the EQ. Uh, I ended up rolling off a little bit of the, the bass here at the edge um, because I, I just want to cut out any of that rumble or any of the problematic sounds. Uh, added in a little bit here uh, to the mid ranges. And then up here, I was just increasing the treble. So this is just basically an equalizer. Uh, and that's the first part of the, the Neutron uh, Swiss Army Knife. Next, if you click here, as you can see, there are four other places to go inside Neutron. The next thing you get is a simple compressor, but I like the fact that you get the audio waveform and you can see how the compressor is affecting your audio. So as I play back and turn down the threshold, uh, just watch how it affects the audio and you'll see uh, some of it start to look like it's clipping. That means the threshold is kicking in. Have a watch. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504. Okay, so you see how now we've got these uh, sort of orangey lines starting to appear here. That is the compressor threshold kicking in and acting. Uh, again, I can, I can do other stuff with this. So if I turn the ratio up, uh, we'll get a harsher compression. Five to one compressor now. You're in the mix with your boy. And you can see in real time here the effect a five to one compressor has compared to a two to one compressor. Let's bring it back to, uh, well, three to one even. Let's look at three to one. You're in the mix with your boy. Okay, so that's a 3 to 1 compressor, that's a 5 to 1 compressor. You can notice that it's it's pushing that audio down further, squashing it and compressing it. Let's have a listen. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy. DJ 504. Okay, that's sounding uh, pretty cool so far. Now, this actually is just a single band compressor at the moment, but it can be a multi band compressor. If I enable these, suddenly look, you've got a multi band compressor going on on your screen, which is pretty impressive. But I'm just going to go single band because there is, yes. Can you believe this? There is another compressor in the chain here. At the moment, you can see it's bypassed, um, but I can enable this compressor here, and uh, you've got a different style, a vintage mode uh, compressor, but you can switch vintage mode on and off, and again, we could use it if we want. It might be a bit overkill. So I'll go for Exciter, switch this on. Exciter, as always, is working on distorting the trebles, so let's uh, distort and highlight some trebles here. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504. And then, of course, we need to bring the drive up so we can hear it working. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504. Let's turn that down a bit. You're in the mix with your boy. Just a little bit, and you can see it working here because there's a little uh, kind of highlight here on the audio that's being excited. And then finally, a transient shaper as well. So again. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504. Okay, and I can see it's peaking here, so just going to turn this down by the master. You're in the mix with your boy, that knowledge boy, DJ 504. So I was just watching that number there to make sure it wasn't peaking, which is not anymore. So now I can apply all of those effects and I have mastered. Watch how the shape of the waveform changes when I apply this effect. So before isotope neutron and after isotope neutron. And now we have a fully mixed and mastered DJ drop uh, there for you to go and use in your DJ sets however you wish. In fact, I'm going to save that now as a DJ drop one and let's put that in a directory here in our downloads directory okay uh, so in the next section, we're going to get into uh, a few more DJ Drop voiceovers, have a play with them in the multi-track. But as always, love to have a look at what you are saying here in the comments. Do introduce yourself wherever you're watching. I can see Taylor is watching on Facebook Live. Make yourself known on Facebook Live. Just let me know uh, where it is in the world you are watching from. Always like to shout you out on Facebook. Uh, what have we got? Stephanie Boy is new here, watching from Kenya. Like to learn more when well, you're in very good company. Uh, some great people to learn from in the chat and in the community as well. Uh, David Lewis uh, is, is chatting away with uh, Ben and David in the chat. Jess uh, Pedersen uh, saying, how do you get that clean sound, deep ground bass and high treble? My sound is blank if it makes sense. So, yeah, from what I understand, hopefully um, the little bit that I've just been showing for the last 10 or 15 minutes uh, will give you an idea how to do that. Um, using a mastering uh, plugin like Isotopes Neutron is a good idea. 
but also inside Adobe Audition, uh, their mastering preset comes uh, pre-packed. And if we go default here, I mean, you can add on reverb. The exciter will uh, excite up and uh, distort those trebles, make them sound nice and crisp. Uh, widener, make it more stereo. Loudness maximizer will compress it more. And again, here, you've got an equalizer uh, as well, so you can bring up some bass or bring down bass, whatever you intend to do. Uh, if you tick here, enable the low shelf, you can just you can roll off a bit of low shelf there as well in the Adobe Audition mastering effect. So I hope that helps you a little bit, Jess. Uh, okay, Lee, uh, I use Yamaha MG12XU mixer, USB 2.0, and it works great. I'm locked in from Tanzania. Great class. Thank you so much for uh, for tuning in today. And it's great to have such an international uh, show as well that we do. We really are an international community of audio producers, aren't we? This is it's fantastic. It's something you can do anywhere in the world, and I love that. All you need is, like, a sound card and a computer, really. Uh, Julio's in. Select the preset and tap enter, probably referring to something I was doing. Uh, Al, what mic are you using for your stream? Al, if you check out the community, there is actually a post about all the equipment I'm using uh, that Joe, actually, Joe uh, has put together from our community. So go ahead and join at mrc.fm slash community. And if you have a look over here, uh, there you can see new, new posts are appearing here. Buying new mixer. Could you map a ducking procedure to feed the long reverb effect? Really good quality questions appearing here. Um, but if we go into top posts, I think one of the top posts right now is Joe's list of helpful things. And you'll see in there, Joe is collating everything that I mention on my live streams, any equipment that I mention or that I use. Uh, Joe and the rest of the community here are chipping in uh, with everything. And, and, and I really appreciate you doing that. You're kind of crowdsourcing uh, some of the audio production knowledge we share on these streams. Uh, and certainly you can find details in there about the the microphone that I use. Uh, what else have we got? Ben loves the Q expander. Uh, Frank, hi Mike. I could not find where to sign into the community. Please advise. Okay, so if you hit our community page, let me just log out here. Log out. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm now logged out of the community. So you get here to the community page. When you get there, just head to the top here and click either sign up or log in. Doesn't really make a difference. Sign up if you're new. And then you can either put your email in or just click the with Facebook button and it will automatically link with your Facebook account. So I've already done it. If I click with Facebook, it'll go boom, it'll authorize and look, I'm logged in now. So it's as simple as that to uh, join up. Mike, can you check out our radio and tell us what we can do better? Sure, yeah, make sure. Maybe go to the community, introduce yourself, post a link, um, because I know after the, the event, after the live streams, your um, live chats disappear. They're not kept uh, in perpetuity. Uh, so best place is the community for that because they will stay then. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, need to send my voice so you can make it sound better. Sound Columns on Twitch is saying, is there a method uh, to the name drop? Uh, I don't know. Let's explore more. Levy Kid is in uh, and also Edmund watching here on Facebook Live. So let's hop in for the last bit and do some more stuff with DJ Drops. So a brand new session, DJ Drops. And we can bring in uh, a few more uh, DJ name drops that I uh, had voiced earlier on. So let's bring all of these in now to my multi-track session. Have a listen to what we've got. Freddie Roach Jr. is... Wow. Let's actually have a listen to this one. Out and in. DJ Kakos. We can go. DJ Kakos. And we've got this one here. Let's have a listen to this. DJ Kakos Talk Pasidis. Oh, nice. Uh, what else have we got? Something here. Sound kutcher. Little name sample drops here. Uh, let's grab something else. What else have we got here? These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. Oh, wow. That's, um, hmm. that's one of our uh, uh, female voice artists from Australia, actually, Elle. Uh, she lives in, uh, I think she lives in the United States, but she's got a great Aussie voice. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. And let's see if we can do some flange on that. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. Just going to have a mess about with the flanger now and um, do some changes on here. So uh, let's bring the delay time up. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. And these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. 
Uh, so we've got lots going on there. Let's bring the modulation rate up. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. And we can change the mix down. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. Now we're starting to get, when I switch off the special effects and sinusoidal, uh, you suddenly start to get a nice stereo sound. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Okay, and uh, again, we can do um, we can do all kinds of other bits with this. So, let's hop in and always like to have a good bit of echo. Uh, but let's go back into our um, let's go into actually the the ring modulator for this. This is a, also a, a great plugin uh, that we can use here. So let's just play with a few of these. What have we got here? This one. I Maybe not that one. By DJ Tina S. Oh, that's that's interesting. We could probably do something. We'll bring the frequency up. Let's try. By DJ Tina S. Wow. By DJ Tina S. Okay. By DJ Tina S. Bring the depth By down. By DJ Tina S. By DJ Tina S. Okay. Let's... By DJ Tina S. By DJ Tina S. I'm not sure if that's exactly the sound I want. By right? DJ Tina S. Well, that's By nice. DJ Tina S. So we've got a wobbly, wobbly sound effect now on the last bit. By DJ Tina S. And then just drop in some, uh, some sound effects here. So um, I always like a good hit. So let's grab this. So the hit comes there. So we can bring that in just before the DJ name drop comes in. By DJ Tina. Hang on, we need to line that up. DJ Tina S. DJ Tina S, okay. DJ Tina. Bring that down. Oh, hang on. Actually, what I'm going to do is pull that onto the sound effects uh, track there and bring that down. By DJ Tina S. And these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ. Okay, too much of a gap there. By DJ Tina S. And just bring the volume down there a little bit. Brought to you by DJ Tina S. So these amazing. What I could do is something like this. So let's grab that, bring that and copy it a few times. So I'm doing the uh, command C to copy and command V to paste like this. The, 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 these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. The, 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 these amazing... And again, I can pan this so I can bring this hard left and hard right like this. Let's do that. Hard left, hard right. Let's see what we've got here now. The, 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 these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. Sounding good. And then we'll hop back and grab some other effects to play in as well. That's quite a nice hit. So you can bring that in as a little hit. Hmm. Right, we need a beat. That's what I'm feeling. We need a beat. So let's go all the way back and into our music beds. Bring something in that can sound good. Okay. That's coming in. Let's bring that out of the way and pop that up onto the music track here. Let's see how this sounds now. Okay, but we probably don't want the music bed to go on too long. Okay, actually we can use that, and what I'm going to do is turn that down because it's too high in the mix. Too much of a hard ending now, so we need a kind of bang at the end to... Uh, <laughs> if in doubt, use a bang. Uh, so let's go over here and have a look. Where can I find a bang? There's a bang. Oh, that's a double bang. Did you hear that? Double swoosh. Let's see if that works. Pop that in here on the sound effect. Too overpowering. Let's turn that down a bit. No, I don't like that bang. Something like that, maybe. Let's try and sync that up now. Here and here. No, that's off. Let's bring that in a bit. Okay, bring you down a bit. 
Okay, uh, the voice, the voice, the voice, the voice is not sounding bright enough. It sounds a bit dull in the mix, doesn't it? Let's listen. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ TMS. Yeah, it's, it's not sounding quite like it's kind of sitting in the mix nicely. It's sounding like it's, it's kind of arguing with the sound effects and music at the moment. So what I'm going to do, because that's such a nice beat... These, 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 these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. But I don't need all that. I don't need all the trebly bits uh, in that track. So what I'm going to do to this music track is just roll off a bit of unneeded EQ. So filter an EQ here, and which one would be the best? Uh, parametric equalizer, probably. Uh, default, and we'll turn that like that, so uh, that is essentially changing the shape of the high ends. So I'll show you how it works. You, you see you can do this, whereas if I switch that off, it just gives you a different shape, so a harder shape to work with, so we can really roll off the highs here. These, 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 these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina. Let me just mute out L for a second. DJ Tina S. So... That's just the bass, bringing in the treble. So let's see, something like that, because I want it to be a kind of nightclubby boom. I don't want to, I don't want to focus too much on the track that's in the background. Let's listen now. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. Still think that bang is probably too loud. Brought to you by DJ Tina S. That's better. And then to fix up those vocals, we're going to go in and add the uh, mastering preset. And we're going to add a little exciter. Let's go to default and add the exciter. These, 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 these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. That's sounding good. A bit of loudness maximizer. We'll add some compression to her voice. These, 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 these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. Notice how you should really use those effects with caution because just uh, adding uh, quite a bit of exciter and just a tiny bit of loudness maximizer and she's popping out the speakers now. So this is with it on. Let's have a listen. These, 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 these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. And then switching it off so we can have another listen to how it sounds without the, uh, the mastering effect on. These, these, these amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. And just to demonstrate that, I'm actually going to switch it on halfway through so you can hear the difference in Elle's voice as I play it. These amazing vibes are brought to you by DJ Tina S. Brightening up a voice in imaging is absolutely crucial. DJ Lesmond in your party. Oh, nice. I like that. That's a uh, 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 DJ drop in a different language. So we're getting close to the end of the show now. Really appreciate you being here as always and tuning in. It's great of sound columns to be uh, to be posting on Twitch. I always love a Twitch chat. Uh, Twitch is a platform I'm developing out at the moment. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, building up Twitch because I'm kind of new on Twitch, but seeing as Amazon owns it, I, I figure I, I should probably stream this on Twitch. So Sound Columns, thanks for supporting me in the live chat over on Twitch today. Uh, wish you could show me all this in FL Studio. Unfortunately, I'm an Adobe Audition man, but I do occasionally use uh, Logic Pro. And on Thursday, Friday this week on the live stream, I'll be delving into Logic a little bit more. So you can probably apply some of those principles to... Um, over to your, your Fruity Loops. Uh, thanks for saying you like the workflow and uh, yeah, really, really cool to, to see you in there today. Uh, over on YouTube, we've had some nice comments from you watching now. Uh, Devon's in. Nice to see you, Devon. Frank, I typed that and was taken to the We Make Awesome audio page but cannot locate where to sign up. Uh, hopefully, uh, I know Isabella's been in there. Maybe she'll, she'll post a direct link. In fact, I can do that now. If you want to join the Music Radio Creative Community, two new topics. As you can see, it's always busy uh, with posts about audio production and uh, just audio things. The direct link is community.musicradiocreative.com. Community.musicradiocreative.com if you can't get it through the short link. Uh, we've got David uh, uh, saying, yes, I'm on the forum. Uh, I'll go and uh, get you after the stream. Awesome. I love doing this effect. It makes it sound so much fuller and like the recording. They recorded multiple takes of the same thing without stacking them up. Absolutely nice one. 
checking out Hot Jazz Chick doing the uh, the mix down from yesterday's free stuff. It's called Spaced Out. Yeah, that's in our members only category. So you have to join up to see it. Check it out. Yeah, uh, Jenny in the forums did a fantastic remix. Um, and uh, actually, I can post the link to that remix. Let's go into uh, free stuff here. And it was the video game one from yesterday. If you go to the link I'm about to post, uh, that is Jenny's post there. Uh, also, can you advise what audio card to purchase with A input and two output for PC running Windows 7 and above? Hmm, I don't know. Focusrite make good stuff. Start with Focusrite and see what they've got that's in your price range. That's what I would recommend. Ben is recommending M Audio. I've had good experiences with M Audio too, so I would recommend them. Uh, good to see you, Brian, in the chat. Ali as well is new to the show. Uh, so much great stuff in the chat today and uh, creating DJ drops. I have had a lot of fun, but it's time to disappear. So I will speak to you over on the community and I'll catch you every weekday. That is Monday to Friday uh, from 2pm UK time for a live audio production session.